Hi everyone, this is my 1993 Porsche 964 C2 in midnight blue metallic with classic gray leather. Today I'm going to do a, a walk around video of the entire car, show you the inside, the outside, all the mods that I've done, and kind of give you a, a good idea of, of the condition of the car. I bought this car two years ago from Checkered Flag in LA. Uh, it has right now 125,000 miles on it. It is in awesome shape. I get in and just drive the heck out of it every single weekend, basically. It's a, it's a blast to drive uh, on the back roads and, and just been an awesome car for me. It's never let me down. Um, when I got it, it was bone stock, so it had none of these <clears throat> modifications to it at all. And I, it was a really fun project for me to do uh, with my mechanic, Eric, at uh, Porsche, excuse me, at Mainline Motorsport. He's done almost all the work on the car. Um, but let's start off with uh, with kind of the exterior, the paint first. Uh, I had a paint correction done by Oaks Detail in Westchester um, about a year and a half ago. It turned out amazing. The car was really swirly and, and the paint had seen better days, but uh, he really brought it back to life and the paint looks amazing. I mean, I don't know if this comes through, but it really looks like glad. I mean, you see the reflection there, the trees, the, the paint looks amazing now. Midnight blue is my favorite color. Um, when it, you know, in different light, sometimes it looks black, sometimes it looks navy blue, and in really bright light, it can look almost purple. Um, so it's a really cool color, really unique color, and, and the paint looks great. Uh, obviously, there are some stone chips in here. Uh, if you get really up close, you'll see, like there's a little stone chip right there. Um, but Overall, the paint looks amazing after the paint correction. Um, starting off with the mods, um, some of the things I did to the front, obviously you see the roof uh, lip spoiler there in the front. You also see the uh, air, the brake kind of air intakes there to give some uh, cooling for the brakes. I installed those as well. I have the, uh, the fog lights that were in there. You'll get that as part of the sale. Next, I did the uh, wheels and suspension as well. Uh, so these wheels are from FVD in Germany. These are the RH Speedline uh, replicas. Great wheel, three-piece wheel, uh, 18 inches. Uh, I believe eight and a half in the front, 10 in the rear, I believe is what we went with here. Obviously, just they fit the car great. Uh, we have KW V3 suspension, uh, which was installed by uh, Mainline Motorsport as well. When I, just when I got the car, there's Tarot drop links, so it sits nice and flush and perfect, um, as you can see there. And we also obviously did, uh, you know, the old, the bushings were old. He redid those as well. The brakes were refinished uh, in Porsche Etna Blue. So I think the Etna Blue really looks cool and complements the, um, the Midnight. Uh, but it'll just kind of get close here, you can see. We have the Etna Blue brakes with the Porsche stickers on there. And, uh, you know, they look really cool. The wheels are all perfect. I'd show you if they weren't. The wheels have no scratches on them whatsoever. The wheels are all in perfect condition. Um, next thing we did to the outside was this wing. So uh, we I got the wing from Getty. The uh, painter did an awesome job paint matching the color to the existing, you know, 30-year-old midnight blue paint that's on the car. You can tell you can't tell that it's you know not didn't come with the car. It's it's the RSA style wing without the rubber gasket around the back. It's a lot lighter and just looks awesome in my opinion. I really love it. But I do have the old spoiler as well, so you'll get that um, as part of the sale. Obviously, is you'll get the old spoiler. I also replaced the rear tail lights and reflector. They were pink and faded from being 30 years old. So these are brand new. They're, they're, they look perfect. They're red like they should be uh, in terms of those, uh, you know, those reflectors in the, in the taillights. Kind of things that you can't see. Um, when I first got the car, it needed new oil lines. So those oil lines that run down the side, those are brand new now. Um, also brand new is the steering rack. I had that replaced by Porsche, the main line earlier this year in like January, February of 2022. So steering rack's brand new, that'll last you forever. Um, oh, and we have the, um, the exhaust tip. Uh, I got a fab speed exhaust tip on there as well. You can see that, fab speed. 
the exhaust is uh, from Darren Fister, FD Motorsports Sport Exhaust. I have the FD Motorsports uh, exhaust and also the FD cup pipe. So the car sounds amazing. I'll, I'll play you like a exhaust video uh, after this as well, but the exhaust sounds just like I like. I mean, it's, it sounds fantastic. Um, you know, when you look around the car, there's a couple things I'll point out on the outside. There is, you know, again, a couple places that there's just some, some touch-up paint on the hood, like what you see, like right there, there's some touch-up paint. I didn't do that. Somebody clearly didn't pick the right blue to touch that up, but that's what it is. You, you can't see it even from here, but you can see it if you get up close and really, really look for it. There's another small scratch back here. Let me see if I can find it. It's just a small scratch um, right, where is it? Right back here. It's filled in. You probably can't, I don't even think I'm capturing it on video. It's so small. Oh, there it is right there. There, little scratch filled in with touch up paint. But again, it's there. You'll probably never even, nobody will ever notice it. You may notice it, but Nobody else looking at the car would notice it. Um, on the door, there is, it looks like it had a run in with a shopping cart at some point in its life, because there are, again, almost unnoticeable, but you can see, oh, here it is, you can see it in this light. There's a couple scrap, you know, pieces here where, when we did the paint correction, he did a, you know, the PDR guy, you know, smoothed them out a little bit, but there's little kind of marks there. You could either have it repainted or, do like I do and just live with it. You never, again, you basically never notice it, but um, if that sort of thing bothers you, I just wanted to let you know about it. Uh, and then on the front, there is a little bit of rust developing in the usual area right here. Um, focus a little bit there. And there's just a tiny piece right there. It's been that way since I bought the car, it hasn't gotten any worse, but you know, and again, it's painted over. So you're not, you're not seeing anything. You're not seeing any rust through there. Um, so once again, just want to let you know if that sort of thing bothers you, that's, that's kind of there. All right, let's hop into the, let's hop into the car. All right, here's the interior. Uh, the interior, I did the Carbone RS R, R, door cards and seats. Uh, again, I have the original seats and door cards if you want them. Um, this is, and you know, they really did a great job matching the classic gray leather. Like it just matches like perfectly. This is old, this is new. I mean, it matches great. It's got the navy blue stitching with the navy blue door pulls. We put in new speakers in the front. They're not, they're not anything special, but they are new. So they're not, at least not shot. I'm assuming the rear ones are basically shot. These are the seats. Um, you know, again, they match perfectly. It's a bucket style seat. It's got the um, logo in the headrest, the Porsche logo in the headrest. See if we can see that in this lighting, but there it is. It is, it is in there. Um, interior is really clean. Um, Got the Lloyd's mat down there <clears throat> on the interior on both sides and in the rear. Uh, in the rear, we also have the uh, carpet on the back seats. Back seats work perfectly fine too, but I, I set it up like that for right now. Um, headliner is basically perfect. Um, I'll operate the sunroof for you in a minute. Uh, that all works. Uh, Momo Prototipo steering wheel. This is just a sticker, so if you don't like it, you can just take it off, but it's a sticker on the uh, ignition switch there. Um, short shifter kit from FD Motorsports and Goldenrod, definitely a must in these cars, gives you that sort of shorter throw, kind of that notchy feel. It's, it's an awesome mod that I've done to basically all my air-cooled cars, but that's, that's really cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. Obviously, uh, you got the old school tape player. This is like an aftermarket 
radio that whoever the prior owner was uh, installed, and you got your uh, handy dandy tape holder right there, so you can play your your '90s music in your '90s car in your '90s tape player. So let me start up the car just so you can see it. I'll do a little, uh, you know, walk around with the exhaust as well. Everything starts up perfect. No weird lights on the dashboard. <clears throat> The, uh, the glove box, I'm having my mechanic fix this next week, but the latch is sort of just not holding anymore. I have that ugly tape there, but um, the latch just isn't holding it anymore. That's not terribly uncommon, but that's there, so I'll have that fixed. Um, you know, again, the inside the interior is great. I'll just operate the windows just so you see it. Window works fine. Works good, no weird noises sunroof you know again fine no weird noises everything works there um, yeah everything everything in here is great the dashboard is not cracked dashboard looks good Let's see that can happen on some of these but this dashboard is in perfect shape so, you know, once again, everything, the AC blows cold, the AC is fine, you know, if it's not fine for you, just have it recharged and they'll get cold again, but the AC is, is fine in here. Okay, let me, uh, let me just go around the outside real quick. Again, the motor is 125,000 miles stock. Um, again, no issues whatsoever. I know that's a question, but um, you know, I just hop in and drive this thing and it really gives me no problem at all. So um, to me, these things are, are bulletproof. You just keep driving them, fix them when they need to, do the proper maintenance, do the oil changes and you know, just enjoy. But um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, if you want to see anything else, just hit me up, but, uh, car's awesome. Car's ready to go. So whoever wants to buy it, shoot me an offer and let me know.